Hey everyone, in this video I want to show how to use bounding box tool in our new labeling interface 2.0. Let's start. Here I've got an image with some fruit. Let's grab a bounding box tool. Also, you could just use 5 on your keyboard as hotkey. Before labeling, we are required to have an annotation class. So let's create one. While creating class, you can assign a hotkey to it. So as you can see, we've got a cross here that allows us to better determine objects' boundaries. And all we need to do to create a bounding box is we need to place two points around our object, like this. And we can create as many figures of the same class as we'd like to without any additional actions. Let's create a new class. To do so, we need to press Escape, and in the right side section, we can click on this little box and here we've got create class button. Let's click it and let's create a new class. To zoom in and out of the image, you can use your scroll wheel and you can hold your right click to pan around the image like that. As you can see at the top of the screen, I have auto select feature enabled. Simply put, this feature allows me to select any figure that I hover onto with my mouse. This allows for an easy bounding box correction regardless of the class. And if I hover onto another object, my crosshair color changes, which means that the next bounding box that I will place will have uh, this class, this annotation class. In my case, it's raspberry. I can place another bounding box. And if I hover onto the strawberry, I can create a new figure of the strawberry class. Also, this bar at the top of the screen allows us to configure the way annotations are displayed. Let's walk through all the settings. Opacity changes the opacity of the bounding box uh, fill. Border changes the border size of the bounding box. Text, class, and creator buttons display this meta information about the figure, like this. And the last feature allows us to randomize the colors of the instances, like that. It is useful when on an image there are a lot of objects of the same class. Thank you for watching and see you in the next one.